Notably, Geoffrey Mukoto. Geoffrey Mukoto is a prolific musician. And a sister Mario Cox of the Lorraine Sisters, or is a choral music director, writer, and an associate in choral directing. Geoffrey has been composing and arranging choral music since he was the last young generation of one. Because I know 1986 was quite a long while ago, and ever since he's been doing a lot of composition and collaborations. He has an almost total bias for African music. That is where he's most And so most of the music today that we listen, listening to is music that has been written or arranged by the And Dr. Mukwondo has got a protege, Austin Odongo, a theory of uh, a theory of music that I'm not included. And Austin has a process of years. A composer and a range of music ranging from simple strophic songs to large choruses. And he's also very instrumental in highlighting the fight of the youth in the Catholic Church. So today we'll be listening to the last of these two great gentlemen who have been with this great team for quite a while. And so it is my pleasure to invite you to enjoy the couple after them. We have the ambassadors of African culture music who will be sharing with you some of their very, very best books. Ladies and gentlemen, Pablo Africa.
करला बोल
be able to do Western as well as African arrangements. Then we'll have Jimba Vin by Jerobo, performed by Austin Dongo and Claire Romolo. Then we'll have um, Mali Wengu. We have highlighted the fact the youth, the challenges they go through while in Basel to get both and these. And then now uh, we'll have One Moment in Time by Albert Hammond, John Battis, performed by Florence Chevy. Very, very big piece of here. And then we'll have the USA by John Trudeau, a Maragolic of Tune that will. Uh, it is actually a whole fighting song in praise of the fighting of youth, and that will take us to the past part of all moments. So there is a lot of nice music that you can share with your friends, and we're inviting you to tweet, to share with friends at home about the goodness of what is happening on screen today.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a roller coaster of choral music in our first session, which was extremely, extremely enjoyable. I'll see you. Did you enjoy yourselves, really? Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, just give a clap to Pambo Africa. Woo! Wow. All right. We take this second session a little bit uh, faster with um, very, very interesting, you know, genre of music. We start with the Pambo Queens. I call them the Pambo Queens. And they're going to give us Steal Away, a Negro or African American spiritual, as arranged by Brian Trunt. They set off our second session. And I'm sure it's going to be smoking. Hey, steal away to Jesus, honestly, if there is nothing that brings you to salvation, honestly, more than that, I don't know what will. Wow, Pambo Africa Queens, another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. 
Now we have, um, Lord, I want to be a Christian. We know this a Lord, I want to be a Christian. As arranged by Geoffrey Mikoto. And brought now, I won't call them the, the Pambo boys, but I'll call them the Pambo kings. Right? Yeah? Okay. Pambo kings brings us, Lord, I want to be a Christian. Another African-American spiritual.
Hey. Only when you've studied, I'll tell you, only when you've studied harmony from the likes of Marion Cox, like Molly Mumkoto has done, can you be able to churn out, you know, harmonies like those on stage. You and Tita Beauty. Uh, you guys are not appreciating well enough, are you now? Okay. The kings and the queens of Pambo Africa now come together to give us Napesi. Now, Pesi, wow, we're going all the way to Congo, 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 the, the DRC Congo for Napesi. Wow. This is another African arrangement as done by Geoffrey Mukoto himself. When you're able to understand the intricacies of harmony, counterpoint, for the students of music who are in the audience, you'll be able to understand how some of these things work out. It's not easy, but it can be done. And so, Pambo Africa will be giving us Napesi, and then all rest in the Lord. It is interesting the way we move from African arrangements all the way to Western style arrangements and compositions. So we'll be moving from Napesi, a Bangala sacred contemporary song declaring total surrender of oneself to the Lord Almighty. And then from then we move to one of um, we we, uh, we will be having a song by Mendelssohn, a major major piece. So moving from very very diverse genres, it simply means we have the capability to do it. Pambo Africa doing Napesi, and All Rest in the Lord by Felix Mendelssohn, as arranged by Geoffrey Mukoto.
this piece is very, very technical, so we got to pay a lot of attention. All Rest in the Lord by Felix Mendelssohn, as arranged by the guy himself on stage. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, the directors in the house, you know very well, the directors don't sing very well. Yeah, 
You know that, yeah? Wanawambiaga muimbe, lakini, of course, they don't know how to sing very well. But definitely, this one is an exception. <laughs> so, uh, that was Geoffrey Mikoto singing Rest in Peace, or Rest in Peace, and Rest in the Lord by Felix Mendelssohn. And he arranged it himself. Great. Um, we now, from the West, back to Africa. And we have a piece by... Joseph Ngala, a piece, Malema. Malema is a bongo tune actually describing Malema, a bully in the village. A bully in the village. I don't know how you get to sing about a bully in the village, but that is exactly what is going to happen here on stage. We're going to sing about a bully in the village in Malema by Joseph Ngala. Joseph Ngala, if we can remember very well, is one of those very, very old Kenyan musicians who've really given us some of the very, very hot numbers that them days were hits on radio and even a little bit on television. So Pambo Africa brings you Malema by Joseph Ngala as arranged by Geoffrey Mukoto. And it seems like Austin Odongo is going to conduct. Malema. Mlelema, sorry, it's Mlelema. Mlelema is um, the village bully. Mlelema, a bully in the village. Karibuni.
the ocean all the way to the lake in a piece <laughs> um congo congo romo yeah means <laughs> <laughs> oh i've had a lua folk song in praise of the local brew and you guys i mean you just sang about a village bully now you're singing about a local brew very, very interesting. I mean, choice of <laughs> topic, very, very interesting. But it simply means we can sing about him, everything and anything and just get away with it. If it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Kongo Oromo in praise of local brew. I've um, 
taken the local brew and it has actually satisfied me. I want to believe that we are sober enough for the rest of the session. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we actually are moving in between very, very diverse genres. And so at the moment, we, we're having um, Hero by Walter Afanasiev and Maria Kari, as performed by Naomi. Wow. 
Naomi, just come back, just come back, just come back here. Just come back, just come back. Um, I just learned that um, actually Pombo Africa is very, very international. Naomi, where do you come from? Malawi. So Naomi comes from Malawi, and she's a member of Pombo Africa, and she is a postgraduate student at the Technical University of Kenya, isn't it? Sawa. Wow. All right, yeah. And she's a lecturer at the University of Malawi. So we know that Pambo Africa is not... Pambo Africa brings the best of the musicians that we have around. Thank you so much. That was a very, very beautiful rendition. Makofi Tena. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, from that beautiful rendition of The Hero by Maria, Mariah Carey, as performed by Naomi, we move on to the Rift Valley. And from the Rift Valley, we bring you Lelo. It's a Kalenjin folk song in support of wrestlers during wrestling matches and in praise of fertile land so in pambo africa we're basically singing about everything and because things can be sung about it does not matter whether you're the village bully whether it is the brew that fills my tummy no we sing about love we sing about everything in pambo africa so now we're singing about the wrestlers from the rift valley lelo as arranged by Geoffrey Mukoto. Yeah. 
be praised honestly in those ways, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right. We have um, just before we have three last more pieces, very very interesting pieces that span, you know, interesting genres. We have for the youngsters you might not know, but Karubandika. Karubandika is uh, tells us do not embarrass yourself by lying about who you are. Do not lie about who you are. That's Karubandika. The truth will always come out. That is Karubandika by Kasolo Kyanga, as arranged by. Wow, Geoffrey Mukoto, you've done a lot of arrangements, really. Ooh. And then we will have uh, a solo performance from a distance by Julie Gould, as performed by Precious Mawia. And then we'll conclude, semi conclude rather, this section with Susanna by Saudi Soul. Wow. Hey. Still as arranged by Geoffrey Mukoto. What an afternoon. What an afternoon indeed.
anayejidai yani mkurugenzi wa pambo Afrika. Eh? Akiingia kwenye bana afanya nini? Anaomba bia na sigara. <laughs> okay. We we are doing from a distance. We are doing from a distance by precious Mawia. Size is not anything. <laughs> The voice, well, is what counts, really.
Wow! 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 And I told you, I told you, don't judge the book by its cover. Small people have got that tendency of having such a big voice. Wasn't that a big voice, ladies and gentlemen? Wow. And so we conclude with our very own Saudi soul, Susanna. Wow. I don't know how you get to do this because, you know, putting Susanna in choral perspective, you can't even start to imagine it. But having been a student of harmony, it is very, very possible because, I mean, in choral music, you can actually be able to look at each and every song from a distance and actually create the harmony, isn't it? <laughs> right? Susanna, Saudi Soul, as arranged by Geoffrey Mokoto.
sure Saudi Soul will be very, very proud of this. Pambo Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Please. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. And like we say, Pambo Africa, I was corrected by my friend here, Peter. I'll tell you more about Peter later on. That Pambo Africa is not just Kenyan, it's international, right? And so they bring us the best that there is, you know, in the choral music front. And we want to appreciate you so much. And so we, in today's performance, we want to thank Mwalimu Joffrey Mukoto, please. Wow, Mama Pambelo Pigio Makofi Bana. Hey! Joffrey Mukoto, he did most of the arrangements, and I'm sure for us choral music lovers, it is not an easy fit, you know, arranging all that music, it is just awesome. And he's gotten somebody under his wings, Austin Odongo. What? Austin Odongo is actually a director in his own right, and he has actually done very, very crazy works. And we like it when young people can actually take choral music, you know, to the next level. And we think that choral music, no, it is for very serious people. Very, very serious people. Terry Gavigo, wow. That was awesome. Solo. Yeah. When you are able to pack those very beautiful voices, all that you have is just fireworks. And Claire Romolo, Claire, where, where are you? Yeah. Lawrence Tebe, wow. Hey. Now, Miss Kuhn, wow. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. And then we have Precious Maria Ward. <laughs> my thinking and my belief is that all these guys, you know, they took it out of their time, you know, just to prepare and ensure that their solo pieces were just right. And we want to appreciate you in a very, very big way. And then we want to, there is a lot of drumming that has been happening in this area here. Did you notice that? And a lot of percussion that has been happening around here. We had Ames, Ewakazi, Bana, Nicodemus, Bandi, way! On the Kayamba. Now, Kwambia, playing the Kayamba looks like the easiest of things, but unless you have it right, honestly, you'll just mess up a performance, honestly. And it's done great works. And then we have none other than, last but not least, really, Wow, Doctari, he, Doctari, Tito, can on the drive. Wait, just the other day, you know, I was looking at his profile and he wasn't very sure he was going to attend this performance today, but we thank God that he was able to make it just to play the drums. Imagine to play the drums, yeah, and we really want to appreciate you all. So, Pambo Africa, this has been awesome. And the rest of the team, I know it does not, it takes so much. It takes so much. Uh, yeah, for, 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 for the music lovers or the guys, I, I know most of us sing in a choir or some place, or we've sang in a choir some place, but to be able to put a concert of this level is not easy. We sang more than 21, close, I think, 21 pieces. It is not easy. And so for you to put this for our pleasure, we want to say a big, big, big thank you. In fact, we can't have enough of this if we have it every other month. I'll see you, Yemeni. We can't have enough of this if we have it each and every other month. And so for Pambo Africa, we want to say a big thank you. So, I don't know. <laughs> At this point in time, I want to make it free for you. If there is just that one song that touched you so much, that you said, hey, ako kawimbo, tu, ako kawimbo, ningelipenda tu kukaskia, tu tena, tu maramboja, tu ya mwishu, inaituwa sosa. Mm -hmm. Inaituwa sosa. 
Just one more time and we get it freestyle. And if you can sing along and just enjoy yourself with it, why not? Karubandika. <laughs> Susanna. Oh, okay. So we're going to have Karubandika and Susanna. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Africa presenting Karubandika.
Just before we do the last number, aren't these guys looking fabulous, honestly? Tunauliza uyo mshonaji wenu. Mshoni, eh? Mshoni, eh? Uyo mshoni, uyo mshoni. Hey! Because it actually looks authentically African and very, very Kenyan, by the way. Yeah? And you're looking very beautiful and with bright faces. So as we conclude... Just before we conclude, Nimenongonezewa, there is a tentative date for the next concert by Pambo Africa. We don't want to miss this, yeah? And hopefully, maybe sometimes in August. I know it will be a busy day for the elections and all that, and elections can be very, very depressing, honestly. But it will be a good moment if it does happen. If we can be able to get that time just to come and enjoy some more music here at the National Theatre. And you bring in more of your friends. By the way, if you've gotten any tweets, if you've gotten a little bit of a caption, share it with friends. Invite them to join the Pambo Africa Face Group page. You know, Let them just enjoy this music so that they can be part of this huge family of choral music lovers. If you've captured anything, you know, just share it with your friends and tell them how great this afternoon has been. Because for me, it has been awesome. Honestly, honestly, this has been awesome. And for you nice people who are able to make it here, just give yourself a pat on the back. I'm sure next time when we come for this concert, tutakuwa tumejeza hapa mahali pote mpaka kule kwa gallery. Yeah? Bring your friends, bring your relatives, bring all I know, bring everybody who you know will appreciate this kind of music. Tujeze hapa mahali pote and just to have fun on us on a Sunday afternoon and enjoy this kind of beautiful music. And maybe for you, unafikiri uko na sauti, na unajit out, pengino na unasijui nini, naeza kuimba, siwezi kuimba, Pambo Africa invites you to come and try out your talent because there is a lot of talent in Pambo Africa. Wouldn't you like to be part of this team? Yeah, so if you have a voice and you think you really want to join and maybe there may be very, very welcoming. So, with those very, very many words, Susanna! Woo! And those questionnaires that maybe you filled a little bit, maybe just to say a little bit about what you like about the show today and the little things, you know, like you like about Pambo Africa, your contacts and all that, please don't go with it. It won't help you. Just leave it at the, at the, at, at the door there and so that we can be able to share on your view. You can be able, we, you can be able to share on your views about what you feel and all that. So that we be part of this huge choral family. Mm? 
just jaza eh useme umeboeka ama ulipendelea sana ulipendelea the way nani some of these guys are so handsome you know the ladies are so cute man eh? and they are singing so well and the voices are so out of this world you know and the guys you know the dancing you know they just hey man wana zi enda tu pole pole tu you know hey eh na hawasemi hawasemi and they are just enjoying themselves bana yeah? so whatever you like about the performance today just put it down on paper and then we'll be able to share our choral uh, our experiences and make choral music you know in Kenya you know the, the way to go there are so many things that are not working in our favor but choral music definitely does Okay, Susanna. If you want to join, if you want to join, just join right now. <laughs> come on stage. Yeah. If you want to join, just join right on stage. If you want to come in and dance, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ah, kwani mnaka kule mkono woga gani? Just come on. Susanna, come in and dance to Susanna. Monsieur Nawoga, if you love music so hard, just come on. Woo, just come on, just come on, just come on, just come on. You've worn those seats for so long. <laughs> just come on, just come on, honestly. We've got enough space for everybody here. We've got enough space for everybody. Whoa. Oh, Polly, Polly. We've got enough space for everybody. Just come on. Just come on. Conducting is none other than Austin Odongo. Wow. Sasa, nyinyi mwengine ndiyo mashabik. Ama ndiyo nyinyi ndiyo nini? Nyinyi ndiyo waoni. Nyinyi ndiyo watamasaji. Wasikilizaji. Okay, wacha tuatumbukize. And follow the stage. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah. Mm, there's a lot of good dancing, if you know. And there is a lot of good music and vibes here.
with the national anthem wherever you are just stand we finish with the national anthem we finish with the national anthem ladies and gentlemen we are very patriotic Kenyans we finish with the national anthem <laughs> <laughs> 